with meteorologist Beth Finello. Good evening and thanks for joining us. The National Weather Service did more surveys yesterday into today and now we have 24 confirmed tornadoes from Tuesday's event. 23 in our Missouri counties and one down in our Arkansas counties. Now I'm not going to go through all of the new ones. If you want to see all of the new confirmed tornadoes from yesterday and today, go ahead and head to my Facebook page. There are two that I would like to talk about. This one northwest of Norwood was an EF1 with winds up to 105 miles per hour. This one was on the ground for almost 12 for over 12 miles with winds up to 110 miles per hour. Now five more miles per hour would have made it an EF2, but this was was an EF1. Our strongest was still the EF2 that went through Ozark. Temperatures today at 66 in Springfield. 64 was a high in West Plains and 66 up in Rolla. We've got a couple of clouds out there. Temperatures sitting at 52 degrees. We started off today wet, but then the sun came out, so temperatures were able to warm up, and now they're starting to cool back down. We're at 50 in Branson, 52 in West Plains, and 51 up in Rolla. Visibility, not a whole lot going on on this graphic right now. However, through the overnight, I think we can develop some patchy fog and some locally dense fog as well. So if you have any plans tomorrow morning, make sure you take things slow. Radar is quiet and really quiet across much of the Midwest. The Midwest. We still have showers to our south and east, and we have a batch of showers and thunderstorms to our west, but they're not going to make it here. We're going to stay dry through the overnight and dry into tomorrow. Temperatures tomorrow morning will start in the upper 40s and lower 50s. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds, maybe a shower or two, but I think it's going to be a little too dry out there. Temperatures will make it into the 70s with a mix of sun and clouds. Then Sunday night into Monday morning is when our rain chances start to uptick, and I think we could see some showers mainly closer to the border and maybe through the morning commute, but otherwise we're going to stay mostly dry on Monday. We'll start off the day with temperatures in the 60s and then we'll see temperatures making it into the 70s by the afternoon hours. Winds will be calm through the day tomorrow, but they're going to shift out of the south, bringing in some warm and moist air that is going to help fuel some storms through next week. And speaking of next week, here's what we got. We'll have an unstable air mass, much like we did last week. We'll have a front stuck right to our north, and that's going to allow waves of stormy weather to come through the Ozarks through much of next week. Here's what you can expect. An unsettled pattern that returns with showers and storms midweek. Timing and modes of severe weather are still uncertain. More updates will come, so make sure that you stay weather aware with already saturated soils and more rain to come. Flooding is going to be an issue through much of next week. So always remember to turn around. Do not drown. Have a plan now and ways to receive warnings to stay ahead of those storms. We're going to have those best rain chances Tuesday, Wednesday and into Thursday. And again, we are expecting more inches of rain with already saturated soils. So flooding is going to be a concern through the overnight. We'll have a couple of clouds, no showers, temperatures in the upper 40s and lower 50s. Tomorrow, if you want to go golfing, I think it's going to be a great day for it. We'll be a little chilly in the morning, but by the afternoon, temperatures will make it into the 70s by 3 o'clock, and then we'll have those stormy conditions for much of the week. Temperatures will stay warm, and then by Friday, I think we'll have a mix of sun and clouds with temperatures sitting in the 60s. So Sunday is the day to run out and do everything. Yeah, go grocery shopping, <laughs> go do whatever else you got to do on Sundays to get ready for the week. All right, thanks so much, Beth. Mm -hmm.